So you started taking peptides, and then after a while, they stopped working. The GH secretagog that gave you all that deep sleep is not working. The GLP-1 agonist that used to crush your appetite is now giving you diminishing returns. So you assume you need a higher dose, or maybe you got to switch to a different compound, or maybe throw more peptides at it. You don't. You need to understand what peptides actually are. So peptides are not supplements. They're not vitamins that we just take. They are signal initiators. They are some of the most potent you can introduce to the human body. They saturate your receptor networks. They drive gene expression, and they can modulate entire organ systems like your adrenal system. Um, and when you stack them without structure, three major issues could happen. Uh, number one, you overstimulate overlapping pathways. That means you have multiple compounds hammering the same parts of your body, creating this redundant signal load, and then your system can't process it. And then number two, you don't give time to recover. You take weeks or months of uninterrupted stimulation and you never allow things to downregulate. And then number three, lastly, you're desynthesizing the actual receptors you're trying to activate. For instance, daily ratatouille injections are not gonna play well with a glucagon receptor. You're, you're actually blunting it. So the result is the protocol stopped working. Um, peptides require periodization. That means a structured cycling process ac across defined phases. Um, you want a priming phase, an activation phase, and a recovery phase. The recovery phase is important for rebuilding the signal integrity before you hop on the next peptide cycle. So this shouldn't be news to anybody. It's the same principle that we apply in exercise physiology when we you know, train, when we optimize our hormones, like when we take testosterone cycles or even oncology, You know, when they do chemo treatments, they periodize that. So peptides demand this because they don't replenish physiology. They either stimulate it or they suppress what's already there. So chronically stimulating your systems creates dysfunction. So if your protocol has no off-ramp, no priming phase, no recovery structure, you're probably degrading what you're actually trying to optimize. So stop doing that.